fifth year, was it a, I guess for you, was it a no-brainer decision to come, use your extra year of eligibility to come back? Oh, yeah, definitely. No, It's definitely a no-brainer. So, yeah, definitely get to come back and play another year with the guys, get the young guys coached up a little bit so we can have way more depth in the back end and just be a contribution to the team. You spoke about the depth, and there's an influx of talent that's come in, especially on the back end. How much is that going to help this defense, especially when you guys want to get takeaways? A lot, a lot, because we can put fresher guys in that can – go in and it's not going to be a fall off anywhere. So just having those young guys like Bradley Green and a, a Corey just come in and, and add depth to that back end is, is going to be a, a great help for me, Rocket, and Q in Trailwell. So, yeah, just getting those young guys coached up and just getting them ready to go game one is, is a, a, a good a good contribution to the team. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you, you know, coaching these young guys up, do you think they come to you more or you're going to them, um, you know, correcting some mistakes or something? No, it's, it's, it's kind of both, to be honest. Like, They'll come to me and ask them, and then I'll just give them little tips and keys, too, to just go out there so they can go out there and play fast and just not be out there thinking too much. Is camp any different for you now at this point, being a veteran? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier, definitely a lot slowing down. So it's not as fast as it was when I was a freshman, coming in here learning all the new plays and getting used to practice, how Coach Frears wants us to practice, stand up, and not really going to the ground because – as you're a young guy, you just coming from high school, all you know is just contact and just, just playing ball out there. But once you get to college and stuff like that, it's, it's not like that anymore. You really have to understand concepts more, understand how to practice. That's, that's really the biggest key. Do you feel like this philosophy is spreading the stress along the defense and not putting so much pressure, stress on the back end? Is, is that going to help the defense overall, you think? Oh, yeah, definitely, because like I said, now we can play way faster. We don't have to really think as much now because now it stretches all over the field from the back end to the front end. So just as long as everybody just going out there and doing their job now and it's not just one person that has to be here and fit there, it's, it's more so like everybody just gap sounded out and we, we go to play ball now. Is that going to help in the takeaway department too, you think? Oh, yeah, definitely, a lot, a lot. It will definitely help a lot because now we have more guys that – more guys playing routes and more guys just being there, just being able to help other guys out. That's something Coach Aldridge mentioned the other day is wanting to get the ball out more. Is that a, a big focus for this defense and how will that help you guys kind of take that next step? Oh yeah, it's definitely a big help to the defense because now at practice we, we harp on punching at the ball, going up for the ball, playing the ball more. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot, a lot of help for us on the defense but by giving the ball back to our offense so they can have the ball more times than not. You've been around a lot of sorry, a lot of different you know defenses and groups here mm -hmm. during your career. What is maybe different about this? Whether it whether it's the personalities or or the talent that's there, how does this group look maybe a little bit different than the past? Uh, what I can tell you, the biggest thing for me is definitely the talent and the athleticism. It's definitely way more talented than than since I've been here. It's definitely a lot of more talent coming in. Like I said, especially speaking from the back here, because I don't be around a lot of other guys, but. Like Corey and Brylin Green, yeah, bringing those two athletic guys in is definitely going to be a lot of help. Nick was talking about the turnovers and that being a point of emphasis. Like, what what makes the difference? You turn over well. I think force eleven of them last year. I think it was like sixteen the year before. Like, what is the difference in game day? Is it like are is it these drills? Is, is it like you've been around it? Is it just sometimes it's a little fluky and the fumble doesn't bounce your way? Like what what makes the difference? It's, it's practice reps. Practice reps just punching at the ball, stuff like that. Whenever the ball's on the ground, with us going to pick it up, so the ref has to make the decision. Not so yeah, just at practice just doing all those little small details like punching at the ball and high pointing the ball, scooping the ball when it's on the ground. And to be honest, I feel like I could play anywhere on the on the defensive in the back end. So I feel comfortable just in all three of those positions along with corners. So wherever coach puts me at, I'm real comfortable with. Where have they been working the most at this year? Uh, nickel is my main focus so far, but I took some reps today at the strong safety. This was what I played last year, so a lot of reps, both of those. Yeah, the talent, they talk about the talent, like you heard Jalen saying, like the talent is so much greater. He sees young guys coming in that are way more talented than oh, yeah. when he first got here. Like, how, how are you seeing that? Does it look a little bit different this year? How much do you think like that's different even in the short time you've been? Here? Yeah, from the top down, from the D line to the linebackers to the to the, even the O line, just we have a whole different room than we had last year with the talent wise. So it just allows everyone to get in a better position to make plays and just spread the wealth. So what's the most important thing you you focus on early in camp? Right, you haven't yet. You're not hitting all that. All of that stuff will come. 
Like, what are you guys really focusing on at this stage? Attacking the football, running to the ball, not running to the ball, but running to get the football instead of just going through the motions and really focusing on punching out and being intentional with it as well. Have you guys set any kind of goals turnover-wise, like just amongst the DBs, you know, that, that you know, we want this many a game or this many, you know, in a, in a month or whatever? We didn't really set an exact marker. We just always say tips and overthrows got to get those, and that's just our motto and what we do, get, get tips and overthrows. For you, you were playing a lot as a freshman, and you were getting playing time last year. When you're out with an injury like that, from a mental standpoint, how do you make sure you don't, like, I guess, become depressed or anything like that and just focus on getting back and knowing, you know, you put in the work that you come back and make an impact when you get back on the field? I think it's just realizing the guys you have around you are there to help you and uh, kind of just carry you along with them, and you're not alone. And it makes you a better person at the end of the day, those trials and tribulations. So it just makes you a better teammate and overall better better person. This was a top 20 defense in yards, a top 25 in yards allowed. Uh, you know, just a lot of big marks last year for, for you guys. Uh, but you lose four out of your five top yeah. tacklers. I mean, collectively as a yeah. defense, why do you guys feel like you can be just as good or better? Well, I think the way we practice, as Scruggs was saying, just the intentional and intentionality and how we can focus on practice every day is going to set us up for the long run, not only right now, but for those game 10 and those bowl games when we really want to focus up and win. Do you guys feel like that on defensively, you guys are still like, he talked about those numbers, and you guys have consistently put up really good defensive yeah. numbers that are almost kind of slept on, it feels yeah. like, right? With, you know, with Liberty and with, you know, Hugh Freeze running the show, it seems like offense always gets a lot yeah. of the love. Do you guys feel like a little bit like, hey, we put these seasons together, but yeah. still nobody talks about it? We never really want to get complacent about it, so we never really focus on the past. I always want to focus on what's coming up and what, what's ahead of us, so we never really think about what we were last year, two years ago, so it's a new year. Is the goal for this team to get to a fourth straight bowl game? Always, always. And the personal goal is to win, so that's, that's just how some of us are wired and a lot of us are wired.